All right, if you're familiar with Uncle Legal Man's work, you know what these are. But if you haven't, you've seen them a thousand times before. We are one movement, one people, one family, and one glorious nation under God. I sought this office to restore the soul of America, to rebuild the backbone of this nation. His policies have severely wounded America's soul, diminished America's spirit, and betrayed America's trust. This is democracy at stake. We will make America great again. Barnum statements. What's a Barnum statement? Well, here's the good news. I have the world's preeminent expert on Barnum statements. Yes, yes. A Barnum statement, and people see them all the time. Um, a Barnum statement is a statement that sounds like it means something really specific because it resonates with a person, but it means something completely different to each person. And so ultimately, it doesn't have any really enforceable kind of meaning at all. Yeah, and the... I mean, the entire... Everything runs on them. I mean, just everything runs on all all political stuff, all financial stuff, really tons and tons of so-called academic stuff. Anytime you watch media of any sort in the news, it's always there. It's a vagary that sounds very specific. And as a result, it's really easy to get people behind it. They get really, really worked up about it because they have such a strong feeling, and yet nobody in the room is agreeing. And it's... It's, uh, would you say it's kind of like the oil, the Barnum world runs clown world. It's kind of like the oil that runs the machine, the regime, the control system of clown world. It, it really is. Once you, once you can see a Barnum statement, once you see them and understand them, you can't stop seeing them. You can't They're, unsee them. It, it, completely impossible. And you will see them all the time. Um, I get people all the time that, com that comment to me all the time, wow. And they'll, they'll send me examples of Barnum statements. Everybody laughs about the Barnum statements because... Once you see them, you'll realize that pretty much everything that people use to control you is ultimately a Barnum state. We have a chance to reset the clock and build back better than before. To build back better than before. Build back better. Build back better. Building back better. To do things differently. To build back better. We're going to build it back better and build it back better. It's my plan to build back better. So Legal Man and I have a theory that we have a, a really good idea for a project. Well, what do you, tell them what we want to do. Well, we're hoping we could make a movie where we can tell people and show people what Barnum statements are and how they're used to control people. Well, be, not to control, but a documentary film. Yeah, a documentary film. We don't want to make a fiction. We want to actually explain it to people in a way that allows people in a relatively short period of time to come up to speed and then see them. Because once you do see them, you'll see how much they're being used to control you and they aren't effective anymore. Like all brainwashing, once you can see it, it doesn't really work. And I think the project that we've talked about where we have a movie about it and we just release it to the world and allow people to see it and pass it around and have no barriers to watching it is a, a really good idea because if we can make inroads in this area, it affects so many areas. Whatever kind of thing you want to work on, it doesn't matter if it's if it's political or climate change or financial or, or the supposed collapse of everything, every one of those things they use to keep people on board with the scam are all ultimately Barnum statements. They're, they're all Barnum statements. <laughs> and as far as the... When we say movie, let me explain what we're going to do. It's, we're going to keep it, I mean, it's going to be its own thing, but it's going to be like an hour. We're not going to sell it. We are going to literally just put it up on every platform we can put it up on. And it's going to be, it's going to be on YouTube, Rumble, all that stuff, okay? Twitter. And we're just going to put it out to the world for free. And I'm extremely confident that this thing will get millions and millions of views because there's no barrier to watch it. So there's going to be so many people that have never heard of Barnum Statements who will be attracted to the video and watch the video. So Legal Man's going to do all the voiceover 
And it's going to be B-roll. B-roll and Legal Man doing the voiceover, and then we have some other little funny little things. It's going to be funny, interesting, and it's going to be a very high quality documentary. It's going to be as high quality as any documentary you're going to see, but it's going to be up out into the world. And we I am, will be shocked if it doesn't get millions and millions of views and all kinds of people that have never heard of Barnum Statements, that have, don't know anything about Barnum Statements, just normies are going to end up watching this thing and get sucked in and then it's going to crack open the husk, uh, hopefully, and take, wipe the shit off their eyes. And then I can foresee somebody like a Vivek Ramaswamy or somebody giving a speech and he's like, we're going to bring, we're going to unite America and we're going to bring America back together. And somebody's going to go, ah, what exactly does that mean? And he's going to get stumped. Yeah. Yeah. The thing about Barnum statements that, and the reason I think the movie would be popular is because everybody unknowingly is exposed to them all the time and has been their whole life in a thousand different ways. And when they're pointed out, as soon as you kind of catch on, like, oh, that's a Barnum statement, it's really exciting. I, I can remember when I first kind of learned about them so many years ago, I was like, wow, they're really, they're everywhere. But every time I watch somebody learn about them, they, they think, oh, yeah, that. And then they're excited about it because they realize now that can't be used against them because they can ask that question. Oh, okay, you say you're going to, you know, unite the country. You say you're going to create great jobs. You're going to, okay, what does that actually mean? You're going to forward together. Every kind of political slogan is that type of thing. Safe and, and effective. Perfect, safe and effective. And as soon as you see it, then you realize. And so I think I've watched a ton of different kind of videos, and, and, and as, as you have, as pretty much anybody watching this has. And when you find one you like, you just send it to somebody. You tell somebody about it immediately. You, you, oh, dude, I was watching this uh, video. It was really great. And you send it to them, and the people start watching it. And the idea is to create something that will immediately suck them in because everybody can relate to them. It's not like, well, I don't care. What, well, who cares about this topic, such and such. You'll immediately see how it applies to your life. Immediately. And if we can get people to watch it, the ability of the system to control people in every kind of level will be eroded very dramatically. We're in the middle of a national identity crisis. Faith, patriotism, and hard work have disappeared. We spend so much time celebrating our diversity that we forget the values that bind us together. And I believe deep in my bones those values still exist. The success of America isn't housed in the halls of Congress. It lies in the calloused hands and the unrelenting grit of America's workers. Those who dug the deepest sent our nation soaring. Truth, justice, decency, equality, freedom, democracy. These aren't just words. They're the values we as Americans cherish. And they're all on the line now. The future of our country depends on you and millions of others lifting our voices to fight for our American values. The only chance that we have, and it's a very small chance, I mean, if you've listened to Legal Man's podcast, it's literally zero chance we're finished, but I mean, we gotta do something. What else are we gonna do here? And the only chance we have is to try to reach hearts and minds, reach hearts and minds. And the more we can get people to see something and laugh at clown world, the better whatever small chance we have to actually get out of this ridiculous situation that we're in. Yeah, and the thing about it is, the reason Barnum statements, I think, are, are a good thing to make the movie about is that a lot of topics are too, they're too extreme. People can't deal with them. You have to get people in baby steps. And with Barnum statements, they aren't, they aren't dangerous to people. They don't threaten them so much to see that, oh, wow, hold on, these Barnum statements are being used. You'll see them in every kind of, you'll see them in your relationships. You'll see them in everything. You'll see Barnum statements. And so it's not a red versus blue. It's not an anarchist thing. It's literally applies across the board. So any topic somebody's interested in, and there's brainwashing and lies in every topic, they'll then see the Barnum statements. And so once you start seeing them and you start realizing that the stuff doesn't really fit together, then at that point, your mind can be open to more stuff. And I really think a project like this, if you can get people like that to see it, we can actually get more people. And we have 
to have more people. We we cannot do it with what we have. We have no chance with the number of people we have right yeah, now. None. none, none. And most people aren't going to listen to extreme messages. And no, people, yeah, like the Hillary Clinton and the raping the babies. And oh, all yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's this crazy. Is, this is something that's really easy yes, to guess. right. And it's, and it's really, it's one of those things that once you see it, it's so exciting that you just want to share it with people. Yes. Plus, people repeat Barnum Stables. They hear one, they repeat it. You're going to have people saying, well, you know, at parties and stuff like that, somebody to say a Barnum statement. And Absolutely. Go, oh. Every, literally every area in your relationships, personal relationships, you'll recognize the Barnum statements. They're in everything. And once you realize them, you can laugh about them. But I do think that it's an opportunity to at least have a chance. I do think it has the chance to be the kind of thing that can go viral Absolutely. because it's a clever term when you hear Barnum statement you're kind of interested in and it is especially living in clown world yes and it's attributed to P.T. Barnum for good reason because that's the kind of thing he would do to con people and the other thing about it is that it's it actually can cross over any kind of language lines because it's the kind of thing that someone in a foreign language once they see it and they're being exposed to it too can also say Barnum statement and I really think it's incredibly universal once you see them so this project, like we said, we're giving the film, putting the film out to the world. We're gonna make them. So the only thing we're trying to get with this crowdfunding campaign is an, enough to produce the film the way it needs to be produced. And since we don't have to do a ton of shooting, we just have to record his voiceover, we'll shoot him in the voiceover. And we're gonna have to just spend hours and hours of time digging through footage, downloading footage. We'll get some, we're gonna have a bunch of B-roll. We can get this thing, we just have the budget set. We can get the thing done with, with enough money and it's going to be a six month in and out process from start to finish. Enough money that uh, I, I can pay my bills and we can pay our bills and not freaking starve. That's all it is. We're not making any money really in the back end of this thing. Um, I mean, it might get a bunch, so many, YouTube, it might go viral. And so we might get some money from like horse shit from YouTube or whatever they pay out. But we're not gonna make. We're not doing making any money off this, and we're not gonna sell it later. It's gonna be a lot. Not of Not there's work. anything wrong with that, but <clears throat> it's gonna be a lot of work, yeah. and it's gotta be at least worthwhile to do. When I work on a project, I put everything. I'm OCD about it. I'm obsessive with it. I'm at the gym. I'm thinking about it. I'm with my daughter. I'm thinking. About it. I'm driving around. I'm thinking, eating dinner. It's it, it consumes me. And again, we've made this one, we've sat down and, and beat it up and we've got it to where the bare minimum that, that we, we can spend and be respectful of your funds, especially with all this insanity that's going on right now with the money system and get the product done in a way that is worth our time and your time and is going to attract an audience. Right. I don't want to put my name uh, on something that's crap, yeah. it, it, it has to be good. I will be shocked if the thing doesn't get millions of views. I've never seen a, a movie on there, a documentary about it. It's not a lot. I've discussed it for years now on my podcast, but I think I'm really one of the few people who does actually talk about it a lot. I know. So the thing is that what, why I, I came to you with this, I, I just think it's going to be really good. Yeah, I think it's, it's like I said, really everybody good. who learns it's about it. It's going to be funny and interesting and, 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 and enlightening. And even if... Even if we can't really ultimately defend ourselves against the psychopaths, it does help to be able to recognize them. Every single person who understands a Barnum statement, his life is extremely improved. There's no doubt about it because it's so prevalent. It's literally insidious. It's in everything. And until you see them, you can't see them. And once you do see them, you can't unsee them. And it will help in every form or fashion, even if we can't get anything further. Nothing would crack me up better than to have some reporters at the White House uh, and they're given their standard BS and someone would pipe up, oh, excuse me, that, you know, isn't that a Barnum statement? We can't really know. And if that started being asked on a regular basis at a debate, at any of these phony baloney news conferences, to me, it would all be worth it. If, if it, that's all that happened, then it would all be worth it because that would mean it's, it's permeated so deeply that, that regular kinds of mainstream people are using it. Yeah. Ever since I started making a podcast, and even when I was just on Twitter, I'll, I constantly get the, what can we do legal, man? It's just all the time people want to know. They go, oh, what's your solution? What's your solution? Um, I think this is, though not a solution, it's definitely 
something that can be done. And there are very few things that you can actually do. But this is one of those things. Yeah. And if, if, if the thing gets millions and millions of views and becomes viral and becomes part of the cultural lexicon, and your name's on the credits, you can say, I, I, I help make that project. I'm part of that project. How cool would that be? I mean... I think it'd be cool. It'd be awesome to me to just know that, oh yeah, I did that. And if it becomes, if it permeates out, it'd be like, well, I actually helped fund that. <laughs> something you actually did. Not only do you get credit for being smart enough to realize it was going to be important, but you actually were willing to do something about it. Not just talk, not just say, oh yeah, in hindsight, I could have done that. So, but something you actually did and it'll be there and, you, and no one will ever be able to take that away. That's not nothing. It's not nothing. <laughs> the way I even got involved in making projects like this, I've never made a project like this until he contacted me and I went and I got involved with Jones Plantation. And I know that he, he does an excellent job. Anyone who's seen the movie, I was amazed at what he was able to do if you saw all the different problems we had trying to get that thing produced. And this is much more controllable. And if you've seen Jones Plantation and you like Jones Plantation, then you know we're going to create a quality project product you know that we're going to be good stewards with your money so you know you guys will decide whether you think it's worth it and we'll see what happens hopefully we can do it i think it's going to be a great i, I think, think it's, it's going to be really i think it's going to be freaking I really good i really do yeah. i wouldn't i wouldn't waste my time right i wouldn't be wasting my time pitching this to you if i wasn't like super pumped about it i hope people do see the value in it because i think it's an opportunity and we won't always have the opportunity uh, at some point, we won't even be able to make a movie like this if we don't make enough progress soon. We yeah. just won't be able to. I think it's an opportunity for somebody to contribute to something that they will actually be very happy they spent the money on. Because people spend money on all sorts of stuff that's a complete waste of time and they regret it. This will be a project that will be very unique. And if you are in the project from the beginning, I think it's going to be something you will be very glad you did. You'll be you'll be proud of it. It's like, well, at least you made a took a shot. You tried to do something about it. Um, there's very little individuals can do, and this is something that somebody can do. Not requiring you come work on the project. Not requiring you mortgage your house. Just throw some skin in the game, and let's see if we can get this project done. So we think we have a great idea for a project. You guys will decide whether or not we're right or wrong. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. 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 If you're feeling the project and you want to get involved, Please go to our Indiegogo campaign by clicking the link in the description of this video. Thank you.